Welcome everyone to Lubbock Avalanche Journal Outdoors. I'm Zach Long. It's pre-dawn in West Texas, extremely cold. I'm wearing camouflage clothing, which uh, maybe isn't anything out of the normal, but today it actually is. We are hunting. We're very excited about that. Today, uh, we're after our uh, maple syrup beaten hockey loving friends from the north. No, I'm not talking about Minnesotans. We're gonna let them slide today. Of course, I'm speaking of the Canada Goose, eh? Very uh, fun bird to hunt, very elusive bird, difficult bird to hunt, but we got a lot of help today. We're extremely excited to have Blackfoot Guide Service out of Lubbock, Texas. They're gonna help us out today, and uh, they're setting up right now. We're gonna chat with them here in a minute before we get going, but uh, it's getting close to sunrise and goose time in West Texas. Okay, we're back right now, getting a little closer to dawn. Birds are gonna be up pretty soon, and. Reason we're hoping to be successful today is we got some great help and uh, we are absolutely thrilled to have with us right now uh, Brian and Ricky from uh, Blackfoot Guide Service and uh, guys I saw your expertise in action yesterday we hope we see the same today and uh, tell us a little bit about what Blackfoot is and uh, what you guys do. Blackfoot is a, a waterfowl guide service here in Lubbock, Texas and uh, uh, we do morning goose hunts, morning crane hunts, we also do pheasants, dove. Uh, we don't do any big game, but it's just the, the waterfowl. Most of our hunts are generally within 20 minutes of Lubbock, and uh, actually today we're hunting inside the city limits. And how long have you guys been doing this? We're, Brian and I have been in business together for about 10 years now. Outstanding. And tell us a little bit about today, about the setup. We've been kind of filming earlier that you got going This morning this. we actually had a little bit of a wind, and we set up for a, a west wind, and now it's blowing in our faces. We've got an east wind, so we're about ready to, to move some decoys real quick. Uh, clouds will help us out a little bit, but not having a wind or a variable wind is going to kind of hurt us. Uh, yesterday, uh, the conditions were perfect. Today is going to be just a little bit different, so uh, we'll be doing more adjusting. Let's put it that way. Tinkering. Yeah, and kind of a, a West Texas feel to what we're doing today. It's kind of unique what we're actually hunting on. Yes, we're uh, hunting peanuts uh, as far as uh, a goose's favorite food. Uh, this is definitely it, uh, especially when it gets cold. There's a lot of protein in these peanuts. And uh, whereas it generally say uh, uh, when it warms up, you'll see them hitting green wheat. Uh, peanuts is, is by far number one over say grain sorghum or uh, uh, corn. All right, well, these guys are gonna, like I said, they're gonna move some decoys to get ready. The geese are gonna be up pretty soon and uh, we're gonna get after it. Do not cover up the gun with the blanket. It, uh, the beads tend to get held up in the blanket. Pull the, the face mask up, uh, face mask up to here. Keep your left hand on the right corner of the blanket. You can have your hand on the gun. Okay, I'll be calling, calling, calling. When you hear me say get ready, that means I'm about ready to call the shot. When I call the shot, get this off of you. Okay, go up, shoot. Shoot about a 45 degree angle like this. Don't shoot down the line. Okay, don't shoot anything on the ground unless I ask you to, okay, because we have a dog. making the hockey game tonight, eh?
Brian, not too bad today. Ended up with a pretty good group of geese, but the uh, weather definitely presented a challenge. Yeah, well, yesterday we had the wind and the clouds. Today we just had the clouds and no wind, and, and you could tell uh, uh, the birds just had problems figuring out where they wanted to land, and it made uh, the, the shooting difficult this morning. Shooting got off to an interesting start, though, with the two ducks came into yeah, the spread and able that, to knock those that's down. That's definitely a uh, bonus, for sure. We don't get those out here. This is actually the first time we've shot any ducks out in this field. But overall, pretty good. The peanut field worked well today. So bird, enough birds coming into the work and not quite a few down. It's a pretty good group of goose meat. Yeah, and there was a, a few misses. A few misses going on. So. Yeah, well, it, it happens. I'm sure they'll see those on the video. <laughs> we, won't, we won't highlight those too hardcore. Yeah, but but we're not going home empty-handed, for sure. No, definitely not. Overall, pretty good day. Uh, Blackfoot Guide Service did an outstanding job. If you're interested in uh, possibly hunting with them or wanting to know what they're all about, we got their contact information at the bottom of the screen. We'll have it again at the end of the video. Brian, thanks very much. We appreciate really appreciate time, it. For sure. Hey, that's going to do it. That's going to do it for this episode of Avalanche Journal Outdoors. We'll see you next time for our next adventure. I'm Zach Long.